Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And on this channel, I like to make videos all about reselling. And that includes some thrift hauls, some tips and trick videos, and actual um, sales that I have made so you can see kind of what sells on the different platforms. So today I'm here to show you everything that sold for me on Poshmark in the month of February that sold for $30 or more. Now, this is the, the structure of the video I'm going to be doing today is a whole month, $30 and up. If you want to see more in-depth videos, maybe weekly what sold videos across all platforms, um, or you want to see just different types of what sold videos, comment down below because I'm open to suggestions. What sold videos have been a little bit of a struggle for me, but I would like to kind of find out what you guys want to see and gear my videos towards that and just get more strategic with my what sold videos. So if you all want to comment down below what type of what sold videos you like to see, let me know. If you like this structure, just tell me. <laughs> if you'd like to see something different, let me know as well. Okay, so let's get into the video and I will show you what sold on Poshmark for $30 or more in the month of February. And if you stay tuned until the end, I will give a breakdown of how much money I made on Poshmark this month. So if you want to see that, stay tuned to the end. Okay. Let's jump into what actually sold for me. Okay, so the first thing that sold for me in the month of February was this bundle. So this bundle sold for $40 for me. It was a pair of Nike leggings, these purple leggings. They're like a fun purple color. Then I have these Nike marbled running shorts. A Fabletics sports bra. Um, some EVCR pink insert mesh cropped leggings and a Lululemon tank top. So um, the girl who bought this bundle got a really good deal because if you're looking at my prices, this would have definitely totaled up to more than $40 for this bundle. But um, I think we kind of went back and forth a bit on the price and we settled on $40 if I remember correctly. Um, I'm fine with this profit because I got these all from the Goodwill outlet. So these cost me around a dollar a piece. So I'm fine with that. So my earnings after Poshmark fees were $32. So I made around $25, $26 on this bundle after my cost of goods. Um, some of these items sat around for a while, including these EVCR pink leggings and then these purple Nike leggings at the very top. And then the other ones were recently listed, but I definitely wanted to move those items in this bundle. Okay, the next sale for me was this vintage ruffle accordion v-neck maxi. This was a really fun dress that I picked up at a fill a bag for $5 sale. So it cost me around 25 cents and it did have a flaw on it, which is why it sold for $35 and not more. Near the hemline, there was like this hole in the sheer top layer. So I just closed that. I got an offer for $35 and then considering that flaw and my cost of goods, I did decide to accept it. So I made $28 after fees, about 27 after my cost of goods, $27.50 let's say. Okay, this shirt sold really fast. It was a Theory short sleeved cashmere sweater. Theory is a brand that you definitely want to watch out for. This was a very basic top, but the reason I think I was able to get $35 for it is first it's cashmere and secondly, I did look up the style name and I included a stock photo, which I think helped. So yeah, I made $28 on this after my cost of goods. I profited about $27. All right, next we have these women's faith pointed toe suede knee high boots. They are coach brand and I didn't put coach in the title, which I probably would now if I were to re-edit this listing. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, so anyway, these are some coach boots. I got these from the Goodwill outlet. So I was really happy with the profit I made on these. Um, I did look up the style name on this. I definitely recommend that when you're selling something you know, at this price point, because someone was probably looking for this particular style. These sold within two days of listing. I think they sold next day. So I was really happy with that. Um, I made $44 on this after my cost of goods of about a dollar. I made about $43 on this. Okay. These are some Levi 501 selvage jeans. Now selvage means that at the bottom, like along the inner hem here, let me show you. 
this, where is the picture? This right here, that's selvage when it has that on the inner side. So when you like fold it over, you can see the selvage hem. I don't really have very good pictures of it because I didn't know that was a thing until I went to go list it. Then I realized, oh, that's what selvage means. I probably should have done a fold over picture. Anyway, I got an offer from a buyer for $42. I did accept. However, this item got lost in the mail, <laughs> which is really sad. The buyer opened up a case on this item and Poshmark refunded the buyer and let me also keep my earnings. This is the reason I absolutely love selling on Poshmark. With eBay, I probably would have had to have dealt with this on my own. I'm not sure exactly how it would have been resolved on eBay because I haven't lost anything on eBay yet. An item has not been lost in the mail, but these were lost. Poshmark resolved the case in both favor of the buyer and me. So I was happy to make $33 on this item. I did get it from the Goodwill outlet. So I made approximately $32.60 on these jeans. Okay, next is this BMW Motor Trend fleece zip up jacket. I picked this sold within the week of me getting it. I took an offer from the buyer, I believe, of $31. No, I sent out this offer because I sent a shipping discount of $2.46. So I profited after all of my fees and my shipping discount, $22.34 after my cost of goods, around $21. Okay, this was a fun bundle because this um, duck print shirt or sweater, I got from that same fill bag for $5 sale. I did have a little stain on one of the ducks. So it was a little bit discolored, but really fun print. Gave me like Princess Diana vibes, 90s vibes, really fun. It was definitely vintage. And then this um, crochet triangle shawl that my sister-in-law got me um, to resell for free. So this bundle cost me about 25 cents total. So I got an offer from, I guess, the buyer of $30. Um, my earnings were $24 after my cost of goods. I made about $23.50 on this. All right, next is this Boston Proper Long Frayed Tweed Duster. Now, I just thought this was really good quality. Um, I have not sold a lot of Boston Proper. I think I might have sold one other item, so I wasn't super familiar with this brand. But the item just felt really good quality. It felt heavy. It felt really nice. It had fringe. It was just a really pretty item. So I listed it at $55, I believe, or $50. The buyer offered me $45, and I was like reasonable offer yes please so i accepted that shipped it out got a five star rating with a really nice comment here so after my fees i made 36 dollars. got this from the bins my average cost from the bins is around a dollar to a dollar fifty so yeah good profit on this item all right this next um sale was also a bundle sale so this was one of those rare situations where someone makes a bundle on their own and they just accept your seller discount and they just bought it outright i think i woke up to the sale which was really exciting so this buyer just bundled these three items. I do have a 25% off bundle discount, which is fairly significant. However, sometimes I still offer like a little bit of discount on top of that just to push a sale or, you know, just a few dollars to kind of even it out sometimes. But man, this buyer made my day, just came in and bought it outright. So the bundle price was $70. After my fees, I made $42. This I got from a normal Goodwill, so I think I paid around three or four dollars for it. I just liked the print and the style of it. It was anthropology top. Definitely an older style, but I liked it, so I bought it. Then this Barden Bowden Margot dress. I got this from the bins, and it actually did have a flaw on it. There was a very light stain, but I did just close that. Buyer knew about it. And then this 89th and Madison top. This was mine, and I just decided it was a little bit more oversized than I prefer, so I decided to sell it. So this total the, the total of this lot was about four dollars is what it cost me so i profited about 38 dollars on this bundle okay this was a really fun vintage japanese red floral kimono so i picked this up based on the print and then the tag looked interesting to me so i did some research on it and it seemed to be a true japanese kimono it was vintage I got an offer from the buyer, I believe, yes, of $30. I think I had it listed at 50, but it had been listed for about a month, so I accepted that offer. So I profited $24 after my cost of goods. I profited about $23 on that. Okay, this is a Brooks Brothers Italian yarn cable knit sweater. This sold very fast, I think within a day or two. 
So I just picked it up based on style. It's a very good classic style. This is gonna sell. I, I just feel like it's never gonna go out of style. So, and it also had good um, fabric content. It was 100% merino wool. I think I had it listed at $50. I got a $30 offer and I was just like, you know what? It's only been listed a couple days. Let's just take the money and run. So I did. I made a profit of about $23 on it after my Poshmark fees and my cost of goods. Okay, this was a really fun find and I wish I could say I found it, but I didn't. My mom found this for me at Goodwill. She sent me a picture one day. She's like, hey, I found this backpack. Do you want it? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I can't believe she found a Patagonia backpack at Goodwill. So I think she paid about $5 for this, but she gave it to me in exchange for a few items out of my Poshmark closet. Thank you, mom. I love you. I love it when she sources me things like this. So this sold very fast um, for $80. I think it sold within like two or three days of listing. So it sold for $80. After Poshmark fees, I made $64. So I was happy with that. I think this was an offer from the buyer that I accepted. So $64 profit guys. And I think another thing that helps this sell for that price was that I looked up the exact style name. I had the style number, good description. I feel like that helped get that $80. Okay, next was a bundle of two pieces. And I think this was another one of those magical people who came in and just made a bundle and bought it outright. These people don't come around very often, but when they do y'all, treat them well. <laughs> So I sold this Columbia Magenta pink hooded windbreaker jacket. Um, yeah, I got this from the Goodwill outlet. It's very lightweight, so it cost me very little. And then there's this Anthropology Maeve dress. I did pay up for this at a normal Goodwill. I think I paid like $7 for it. So there it is. Um, so yeah, I the offer price from the buyer, which I feel like was just an outright buy with my bundle discount, was $48 after my Poshmark fees of $9.60. I made approximately $38.40 on this. After my cost of goods, I profited around $30 on this bundle. Okay, next is this bundle of two items. It was a Land's End cable knit cardigan. Now this did have a flaw in it. There was like a little hole in the knit um, up by the shoulder. It definitely could have been repaired. I just didn't feel like repairing it myself. So I listed it as is disclosed. So it definitely sat around for a while. If you could tell that was mine in my old backdrops. So it's been around for at least six months because of that flaw. It got a lot of interest, but I think when people clicked through and saw the flaw, they just weren't willing to deal with it. So there we go. Okay. This was a jockey robe. I love selling robes. They usually move for me within a month or two. So there, that was not an exception. I think I had that listed less than a couple months. Someone bundled these two items. I sent them an offer of $30 because I really wanted to move that Land's End sweater. So I figured, hey, if she feels like she's getting that sweater for free, maybe she'll be willing to do that stitching on it. So that was kind of how I moved that item. Okay, so this offer, this sold for $30. After my Poshmark fees, I made around $24. Both of these were from the Goodwill outlet, so around a $22 profit. Next, we have this Adriana Papel sequin gown. Um, this may have been in my last what sold video because I actually did sell this in January, but there was a flaw on it that I didn't notice at first. There was some missing sequins near the bottom that I hadn't included pictures of in the first, um, listing, which I, I kind of noticed after I pulled it out of my closet. I don't know if the, I don't know when that damage happened. If it happened while it was hanging in my closet, maybe it got snagged on something or afterwards, but I did reach out to the buyer and I told her about the flaw. So I canceled the order for her, but then she said she'd still like to buy it if I lowered the price a little bit. So I offered her $50 for it because I think she paid 60. Well, she didn't end up buying it. So it's just kind of like when something like that happens, you just want to move the item. You're just like, oh, I just want to get this item out of my closet. I don't know what it is about when things like that happen, but now this item's flawed. I had a canceled sale, so I just wanted to move it. So I kept dropping the price little by little every week with closet clear out. Then lo and behold, that same girl comes along and buys a dress at $36. So her waiting really paid off. She got a great deal on it. The same person bought it. I just thought that was funny. So it sold for $36 after my Poshmark fee and my shipping discount. I made $26 on this. Oh, well, I did get it from the bins. So I still profited like $25 on it. Not too bad. Okay, this was a fun bundle because it has a vintage item in it that I was really excited to pick up. It's a vintage German folk dress. I'm not really sure how to pronounce. Dernal, maybe? Dernal? I don't know. Dress, but really cute. Um, I had that listed for $65. Then I had this Avon flowy maxi dress. 
midi maxi dress. This was listed for $32. I'm pretty sure this buyer, once again, just came in, bundled, used my bundle discount and bought it outright. Another buyer that made me extremely happy, it just made my day. I think I was doing dishes when I the sale popped up and I was just thrilled. So the bundle price was $97. After my Poshmark fee, I profited $58.20. After my cost of goods, it was around $56 that came home in my bank account. Very exciting. This was another really fun sale. Two vintage items. First was this swing coat jacket. Um, this was listed literally, guys, like a day, which was really fun. I think I listed on a Saturday or on a Friday and it sold on a Saturday, something like that. It was really fun sale. And then this vintage dress that had been listed a little bit longer, but I listed it kind of in the dead of winter. So, you know, it took a while to sell because it's more of a spring dress because of the length, but it sold with a jacket. So that's fun. Um, I offered the buyer $80 on this bundle and gave her a shipping discount. She accepted, which I was thrilled because I just listed this jacket and I just was so happy to move it quickly because normally vintage items like that take a little bit longer to move. So this sold for $80 after my Poshmark fees and my shipping discount, I made $61.54. After my cost of goods, it was probably around $55 that I profited. Okay, this was a really fun find at the Goodwill outlet. I found this Pendleton wool countryman shirt jacket. Took me a little while to find the style name on this. I did use Google Lens in the end, which has helped me find the stock photo and the style name. It was from Nordstrom. So I was able to find that out by using Google Lens. And this sold for $70. I had it listed at 100 because it was from Nordstrom. It was a recent style. Um, I ended up offering the buyer in a bundle that $70 price. I think it was on closet clear out day. She accepted. So I made a profit of around $55 on this jacket. Many hours later. Okay. So my battery died and it is now about three hours later because I had to let my phone charge. Oh, well, we're just going to trek on with this video and I'm going to share my last few Poshmark sales with you. Okay. So this next sale was a vintage butterfly corset gown. It was vintage. It was really fun and beautiful. Um, I probably could have sold this for a little bit more. I sold it for $80. Um, what happened is I was sending out a bunch of offers one night and I just was doing it very automatically without really thinking. And next thing you know, I sent an $80 offer on this dress. So the buyer accepted, which is fine. It's fine. Um, I got a really nice rating from her and she said it fits perfectly. So it makes it worth it. I'm just glad to rehome this dress. But yeah, I was planning on hopefully getting a little more for that. But $80 is great. I did get it from the Goodwill outlet. So I profited about $60 on that dress. Okay, next is this vintage Vulcan bowling pin cribbage board game. Okay, I totally thought this was going to be an eBay sale, but I listed it on Poshmark and it sold on Poshmark before I was even able to get it cross-listed onto eBay. So this sold for $40. It was just a really unique thing my mom found for me. And yeah, I'm glad it sold really fast. Um, I also got a really nice rating, which made my day. Okay, next is a black leather jacket. Now this I have had for probably a year and a half, maybe two years, and I've relisted it multiple times and it just took the right person to come along and pay full price for this jacket. I had it listed at $65. The buyer just came and bought it outright. I was so thankful to finally have moved this. And I got a really sweet rating and comment that made it almost worth the wait to um, hold out on the sale of this jacket. So it sold for $65. After my Poshmark fees, I made $52. I honestly cannot remember exactly where I got this since it was over a year and a half ago. So anyway, I was happy with $52 on that item. Next is a bundle of two pieces. First is this torrid long sleeved moon and sun shirt. Now this did have one little spot on it down here below the sun. So I marked it in my four for 25 sale because of that. And then this I'm in leather jacket cardigan was a really well-made jacket cardigan. It actually had real leather in it, but it just wasn't getting a lot of attention for me, wasn't selling. So when somebody liked this item, I immediately sent her a $40 offer on both of these items because the one shirt had a stain on it and then this I'm in jacket, I just really wanted to get rid of it. So she accepted, sold for $40. After my Poshmark fees, I made 32. Both of these were from the Goodwill outlet. Next, I got 
I sold these Dehener custom leather equestrian riding boots. If you saw one of my previous hauls, I was just trying to decide if I should polish these up or sell them as is. And I decided to just sell them as is. And if, you know, they didn't sell after a certain time, maybe I'd take them back out of my inventory and polish them up. Well, they sold for $45 as is. So I did pay up for these. I paid about $10 for these. So after Poshmark fees and my cost of goods, I profited about $26 on these, but I more than doubled what I spent. So I am happy with that. Okay, last but certainly not least, this is the, um, one of the first things I sold last month. It was this Abercrombie & Fitch puffer jacket. Now the sad thing about this jacket is I think it would have sold a lot faster but I made a mistake with this jacket. When I was packaging it up, I like tried folding it up and fitting it into one of my inventory bags, which was dumb. It's a puffer jacket. It's really big. I shouldn't have tried to squeeze it into a bag. But anyway, I got a little spot on it right here. It's very faint. But what happened was when I was folding it up, I kind of bent down to like, and I was like pushing at it and my lips touched the jacket and got lip gloss on it. So there was like a little lip mark on it. Anyway, that that's probably why this took longer to sell than I was thinking. Anyway, it sold for $75. I'm happy with that. I made a profit of $60. Um, I got this from the bins, so probably $59 after my cost of goods. I was so happy to see that finally move. I mean, it had been listed for probably about three months, but still, I just wanted to see it gone because I was mad at myself for damaging it. And I did try cleaning it, guys, but that's before I had that Whip It cleaner. And I just tried like spray and wash on it and it didn't come out, so whatever. It sold, I made 60 bucks, the end. All right, let's take a look at my February numbers. I sold 106 items on Poshmark. Some of those were in a bundle, some of those were individual sales. My gross sales number was $2,382. My cost of goods was $145. Um, my shipping and fees that I paid, holy cow, was $553.68 ouch and my net profit was one thousand six hundred eighty two dollars and eighty two cents so it was a much better month in february than it was in january for me so it looks like things are starting to improve for me i hope that march is even better than this and i just continue to improve um ever since starting youtube and you know the pandemic and all of that my sales kind of just went down a little bit. So I'm very eager and excited to possibly see these sales keep going up and hitting closer to that $2,000 mark on Poshmark in profit. So this is not counting or taking out like what I pay for my VA and that kind of stuff and any other expenses I have. This is just, um, you know, my net profit of what went into my bank account. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing what sold for me for $30 or more on Poshmark. I hope maybe you learned some new brands or some things that you could sell. Um, let me know down below what your best sale from the month of February was. I'd be really curious to hear your bolo, whether it was on Poshmark or eBay or Mercari or wherever it was. Just tell me what your very best sale was. I want to get more familiar with what you guys are selling. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Absolutely make my day. Okay now, bye. <laughs>